Hey everybody, uh, Steve Jamison, Carriage House Door. I'm the finishing manager here. And today I just wanted to make this short video to kind of go over the process of creating custom samples. Uh, we know here that one of the biggest concerns that our clients have is uh, when the when a door is finished in shop is whether the end color is going to match what was originally requested. So we just wanted to go over the process that we use to make sure that uh, you're comfortable with the process and knowing that you're going to get the result that you were looking for when that door is delivered. So there are four things that we do um, to make sure that happens or four parts of the process. So the first thing that happens is um, you're going to send us in a custom sample or a sample that you want to have matched. Um, so once we've received that sample, and it, it can be photos that you send in that we'll print out and try to provide a match from a photo, that can get challenging because of the uh, just the lost in translation and color in a photo versus an actual sample. So you'll send us in that sample piece or a photo, and from that point, uh, we'll take that sample and we'll make three different uh, color options in a range uh, as close as possible matching that sample so that, that you have options to choose from for the match. Um, so what happens is we'll take a board uh, for each sample piece and we'll stain out the board and then we'll cut it in half for each sample. So for each of the three samples that you receive, we will have a matching piece. That way we can make sure that um, that, that sample matches what actually went out on our end. So once we have those created, we send them back to you uh, for approval from the end user. And this is really important. We always want to make sure what will happen, and, and I'll show this later, is on each sample piece, there is a sticker on the back uh, for approval from the customer. So we want the end user to provide their signature and approval on that actual physical sample piece and then we need to have a picture of that sample piece with the end user signature on it um, taken and sent back to us here at carriage house door before we will consider that sample to be approved so that's the general process um, i'm going to show kind of a quick uh, walkthrough of what that looks like in creating the samples and a couple other things uh, so you can see on our end what's happening in real time, um, knowing uh, so you can see and know and feel comfortable knowing that the colors are going to match in the, in the end. So we're out in the spray booth here, um, and you can see we have our samples uh, set up here. Uh, so the first thing it will do, let's say this was the sample that was sent in for matching, right? So we have our samples cut and packaged and sanded ready to go. So what we would do is we would just open up this package for each color that we're going to um, create as a potential match. And we'll have three different sets of samples. Again, one that gets sent to, to you, the client, and one that we retain here to make sure that our match is going to be accurate once we have the door and we start the staining process. So you can see here, we'll take this sample and we create three variations as close as possible to this color. And once those are completed, we have, you can see a sticker here on the back of the sample. And on this sticker, we have our sample number one, two, or three, the color code. So what color we've used on it the PO number, and then a section down here where the client provides their name, phone number, address, signature, and, and a date. So that's the process. That's what you can expect. We'll, then we'll wrap up those three samples and send them back to you. And I'll show one other thing. Um, at the end of the process, we'll take the, uh, the approved sample, whatever sample has the customer signature, and we use it through our process to verify color. And I'll show you a completed project and that the color is matched and verified to that completed project 
before the door is sent and called done. So here we are, this is a recently completed project. And so once the project is all complete, and actually this happens throughout the process as a check in each stage because we put the stain on and then there are three coats of finish. Sometimes the finishes can have color in them. And at times like we wanna make sure through the process as we're going, if we need to make adjustments so that it matches the original approved sample with the signature on the back, we will make adjustments as needed in each coat of the process to make sure that our end result matches the sample just like this one does. So that's, uh, that's how that works and that's how that, that process goes. Once the door is completed and sent out and everything's done, we do keep a file of all of this stuff that we've gone over with regard to color. So in the file, we keep uh, for our record, the original approved sample color with the information on the back. We also keep a printed photo of that sample held up next to the completed project to verify that there was a match, as well as uh, in the file is the customer approved picture of the sample. So we try to make this process as easy as possible. We try to make it so there is little room for error as possible. Um, our goal is to have 100% client satisfaction with our colors and with the quality of our finishing all the time. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Um, and I'd be happy to answer any questions regarding our finishing processes, uh, product choices and why and all those kinds of things. So hopefully that helps uh, to alleviate some concern on the finishing end with regard to color. And as I said, any other questions, please reach out.